Okay, let's now discuss the reactions of organic halides. Okay, so letter A, the first reaction is the nucleophilic aliphatic uh, substitution reaction. Okay, so this is a substitution reaction wherein the halide ion brings with it the electron pair that it has been sharing with carbon and an ion will bring the electron pair needed to bind the carbon or in short the halogen ion is displaced from the carbon atom and that is why it's called the living group so yung halogen the namely um, chlorine fluorine bromine and iodine will be displaced so papalitan sila nung uh, for this case uh, hydroxyl ion coming from the sodium hydroxide so magpapalitan sila madidisplace siya such that from the reaction of alpha of organic halide and sodium hydroxide ang maproproduce natin ay alcohol alcohols are organic compounds with the hydroxyl group okay so uh, r represents series of carbon atoms so may mga carbon atom dyan, which is one of the salient uh, feature of of organic compounds, tapos ang kanyang functional group, dahil siya ay naging alcohol, is the hydroxyl. So, may OH siya. Uh, so, from the organic halide, natanggal na si halogen, napalitan siya ng hydroxyl, so therefore magiging alcohol na siya. And the hydro source of hydroxyl, of course, the sodium hydroxide. And, hindi natin kalilimutan, of course, the side product is a salt or NAX. This is the salt of sodium kasi meron siyang halogen and uh, sodium. Okay, so an example of this is, so we have here uh, chloromethane, CH3Cl. So parent chain is methane, one carbon atom, and then the chlorine reacting with the sodium hydroxide. So mechanism is that, magpapalitan si chlorine and si sodium hydroxide. So, substitution. So, the hydroxyl group will go to the organic halide. And then, si chlorine naman, papalitan niya yung place ni hydroxyl dun sa sodium hydroxide. Such that, we are going to have CH3OH, okay, which is known as the methanol. And then, another side product, which is the salt, in the form of sodium chloride. Pag sinabi nating salt, not necessarily na sodium chloride, which is the table salt. This is the common salt. Um, pwede rin din naman kasi maging fluoride yan. Say, for example, if we're going to have fluoromethane, so if we're going to have CH3F, pupunta yung fluorine, magpapalitan sila ng hydroxyl, so magiging uh, methanol pa rin, CH3OH, Pero this time, hindi na sodium chloride, magiging sodium fluoride na. Nevertheless, this would still be uh, a salt. Okay? So, salt are defined to have a... Uh, it possesses cation of the base and the anion of the acid. Kasi mag... mag, mag or any anion for that case. Okay? So, yung anion Cl would be coming from the organic halide. Another substitution reaction is the reaction of organic halide with water. Okay, so syempre, this will not uh, simply adding of organic halide and water kasi nga they are immiscible. So meron pa, meron pa rin mga idadagdag na chemicals. Nevertheless, ang mechanism pa rin ay substitution reaction wherein the halogens are substituted by the or displaced by the hydroxyl group and vice versa. Okay, so yung hydroxyl naman pupunta, ay sorry, yung, yung halide naman pupunta dun sa place ng hydroxyl dun sa water. Still, ang ating product ay alcohol, which is the ROH. And of course, this time, this is no longer a salt. Rather, this would be an acid, HX. Okay, so pwedeng mga hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide, or hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid. Okay, let's have an example. This is a bromoethane. So, meron tayong bromo group and the ethane parent chain reacting with water. So, mechanism is the hydroxyl coming from the water will go to the place of 
or will displace bromine. Okay, so mangyayari ang ating product ay, product alcohol is in the form of ethanol because of the two carbon atoms originally found in the organic halide. And of course, being displaced from the water, ang mag, yung water magiging, yung HOH kanina magiging HBr na. And HBr is an acid. This is hydrogen bromide or hydrochloric, ah, sorry, hydrobromic acid. Okay, so ulitin natin, once organic halide reacts with water, still we're going to produce alcohol, but the side product will be acid or HX. Okay, and the third example of this substitution reaction is the reaction of organic halide with ammonia. Ammonia is NH3. Okay, so ang mechanism naman dito, so i-expand lang natin si ammonia. So this one we're going to have H and H2. Okay, so... NH3 pa rin yan. Tinanggal ko lang yung, uh, uh, sineparate ko lang yung hydro, isang hydrogen. Ito, H2, tapos ito yung isang isang H. So, H3 pa lang yan. NH3. Uh, In-expand ko lang para mas makita natin yung mechanism. So, substitution reaction pa rin. The halogen will be displaced by the uh, amino group. Amino na ito ha. Amino, NH2. And the NH2 here, or rather, the hydrogen will receive the X. Okay, so kaya meron tayong primary amine. Amine is the series of carbon atom with the functional group of amino. Ang amino ay ito, NH2. Kung kanina, dun sa alcohol, ang ating functional group ay hydroxyl, with of course the series of carbon atom. Pagdating sa amine, we have still the series of carbon atom and the amino group. Okay? And still, we have the acid. Okay, so example, we have again another chloromethane reacting with ammonia. So mechanism is the NH2 will be display will be getting the position of the halogen and then the halogen will go with the hydrogen in the ammonia. Okay, so that's why we have CH3 NH2 which is the methyl amine and the side product of acid which is HCl or Hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid. Okay, so that's for the substitution reaction. We also have dehydro, sorry, dehydrohalogenation. Dehydrohalogenation, ibig sabihin, matatanggal yung isang hydrogen at isang hydro, hydrogen and halogen. Okay, pag de is the removal or elimination reaction. Okay, uh, the hydrohalogenation is the loss of or elimination of the hydrogen atom and the halogen atom from the carbon atom adjacent to the one losing the hydrogen. Okay, so say for example, uh, nandito si halogen, so yung adjacent lang na hydrogen, hindi, sa, hindi yung hydrogen nung mismo carbon atom, rather yung uh, adjacent carbon atom daw. So yung katabing hydrogen nung halogen ay matatanggal at kapag natanggal sila at wala namang maidadagdag kasi it, this is just an elimination reaction. Hindi siya addition reaction kung hindi siya addition reaction wherein may dadagdag. Hindi rin siya substitution reaction kung saan may nagpapalitan. Pag sinabi natin elimination reaction, may matatanggal. Okay. So pag may natanggal, of course, um, hindi na mamimit nung carbon atom yung kanyang forbund requirement. At dahil dyan, maproproduce natin ang double bond. Okay? In order for the carbon atoms that losses the, the hydrogen and halogen atoms, kailangan niyang regenerate yung kanyang four bond requirement, masatisfy pa rin niya yung four bond requirement niya. Kaya mag, magkakaroon siya ng double bond. With that, uh, ma masasatisfy pa rin niya yung four bond requirement because of the presence of double bond. So, Laging tatandaan, elimination reaction of organic halides will produce double bond. Okay? So, ang mechanism, yung, yung natanggal na hydrogen will react with the hydroxyl of the base. This is a base, uh, potassium hydroxide. And then, 
the sorry the halogen that was eliminated will react with the with the cation or the potassium of course this reaction should undergo in a alcoholic environment with the presence of heat so magrarize ng temperature okay so aside from the product alkene kasi may double bond yan okay tatlo yung product natin so may dalawang side product which is the salt or the kx because of the reaction of potassium and the halogen and of course, we're going to have another side product, which is the water, because of the reaction of hydrogen with the hydroxyl, so HOH. Okay, so tatlo yung ating product pagdating sa elimination reaction. Isang alkene, okay, ito yon. Isang salt, KX, at isang water. Okay, so example would be chloroethane. So the ethane will then become ethene. Kasi nga, tinanggalan natin ng hydrogen at halogen. Eh. And then the hydrogen will go with the, uh, sorry, the chlorine will go with the, uh, sorry, will go with the potassium. So, ayan, potassium chloride. This is still, again, one form of a salt. And the hydroxyl will get one from that hydrogen. Kaya meron tayong H2O. Okay? Still, again, this reaction will only push through if we satisfy that the environment is alcoholic or and uh, there's the presence of heat. Okay? So, another example is the bromopropane. Uh, yes, bromopropane. Kasi brom bromine here and prop for three carbon atoms. So bromopropane, one bromopropane for to be exact, reacting with hydro uh, with potassium hydroxide. So the propane will then become propene. Okay? And then the bromo will react with potassium. Oh, so dapat ito correction, dapat ito ay KBr. Kasi nga bromine yun. and then we're going to have water because of the hydroxyl and one hydrogen coming from the adjacent carbon atom so that's water okay so yun ang mechanism pag elimination may matatanggal at dun sa natanggalan magiging double bond okay then we're going to have to produce the salt and water as a side product Okay, and the last reaction is the conversion into organometallic compounds. Pag sinabi natin organometallic, these are Grignard reagent. Okay, so the mechanism of this conversion is we need the organic halide with the reaction with, mag uh, with magnesium and of course the presence of dry ether. Ang mechanism here is that si magnesium, sinisingit niya yung sarili niya in between the alkyl group and the halogen group. Kaya meron tayong R, M, G, X. Okay? Still, again, the R represents series of carbon atoms. Okay? So, this reaction is possible for chlorohalides and bromohalides. Okay? So, pag may chlorine and bromine, pwede siyang mag-react with magnesium with the presence of ether to produce Grignard reagent. So, mechanism again is that so, the if we're going to have chloromethane and a magnesium with the presence of ether, the magnesium will insert itself between the chlorine and the, um, the alkyl. Okay, so we're going to have here methyl. So methyl is the alkyl group. And then the magnesium, which is in between the halogen and of course, we have the, the halide, which is the chloride. So, if we're going to name this, the name of the alkyl first. So, methyl, then the magnesium and chloride. And